This is from part of Ken Tape's PhD research here in Fairbanks. And Ken looked at shrub expansion in northern Alaska, so in the foothills of the Brooks Range. And he used ground-based field photography from the 1940s and then repeated that ground-based field photography in 2000. So here we have a riparian drainage area where in the 1940s the shrub alder patches were pretty much restricted to this area. And then they've expanded substantially by 2001. And we found similar patterns using satellite remote sensing. So here's an example where all these dark green patches are NDVI exceeding 0.6 in 1986, July. So they're likely tall shrub patches in the foothills of the Brooks Range. And then we did the same thing in 2009, July. The brighter green are areas that are now NDVI exceeding 0.6. So all these brighter green areas are likely areas that expanded where we had existing tall shrub patches in 1986, and then they expanded in these areas in 2009. Okay, there's a potential positive feedback. As the climate warms, we have an increase in shrub density, and these shrubs are above the snowpack in the winter, so they capture windblown snow, which will increase the snow depth in the shrub area. And an increase in snow depth will insulate the winter soil temperature, which will promote microbial activity, which will increase nutrient availability, which feedbacks to increase shrub density. So here's an example from Dave Swanson, who is a researcher here in Fairbanks with the National Park Service. And Dave looked at all the Arctic National Parks and using hundreds of field plots, developed a map of where on the landscape existing shrub patches are likely to increase. So this is the present day climate scenario. And then if we had an increase in two degrees centigrade in July, over 70% of the landscape is susceptible to shrub increase. So a substantial increase in shrub density, shrub expansion in all these areas with an increase of two degrees centigrade in July. Well, it turns out that not all locations in Arctic Alaska are experiencing expanding shrubs. So here's a part of Ken Tape's PhD research. He looked at patches of alder that are expanding versus stable patches of alder. And he found that the patches of alder that were expanding were on warmer sites. And the ring width growth of these patches were positively correlated with the previous summer's climate and the current summer climate. As opposed to the stable alder patches, they did not have a positive correlation with climate for most of the months and they were typically occurring on colder sites. So they had colder summer temperatures and they had um, basically lower leaf nitrogen. If we look at the entire circumpolar Arctic, in this slide, we're looking down, North Pole is here, it's the Arctic Ocean, and then looking towards the south. There's been a switch in terms of the trend in maximum NDVI in our warmer, tundra area of southwest Alaska. So from 1982 to 1998, there was a greening trend or increasing peak summer NDVI in southwest Alaska. And then if we look from 1999 to 2013, that trend has switched. So now there's a declining trend in peak summer NDVI in this warmer zone of tundra in Alaska. Okay, so next we'll look at trends within the boreal forest of Alaska.